Hey, so I guess this is going to be a slightly different video than normal, but it's still going to be Final Fantasy XIV related. And it's going to be more relevant to people who have a stream deck or are looking to get a stream deck, and also people who are interested in ocean fishing. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, what is a stream deck? If you don't know, it's this, I guess, macro keypad with little LCD screens as the buttons. I think Corsair owns this company now, so it's made by Corsair. It's called the Elgato Stream Deck. And I guess here's what it looks like. It's all these little LCD screens, and you can customize them with your icons, and of course, whatever macro key that you want to have assigned. Uh, it's not really only for streaming, it's also for like productivity, you can have it associated with whatever productivity software, open it up, or whatever that you want to do. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not advertising the Stream Deck, but if you have one, and you're doing ocean fishing, uh, I guess this is a video for you. So I guess for ocean fishers, you guys probably use one of these online web tools. So here's an example of a web tool. It's not mine, but uh, it's very good. Uh, this is called Lulu's Tools. Uh, if you don't know about it, I guess I'll link all these links in the description of this video. But yeah, so you could tell from this web page what the next fishing routes are. Um, and also, uh, if you're looking for a specific bluefish, you could track uh, these filters. So look for the next instance of Hatgufa. You can see that one is in 11 hours, one is in 13 hours, and so forth. Uh, or if you're looking for a specific achievement, you know, jellyfish or whatever, it's all here. Uh, or if you're just looking for the, what, what's coming up next, it's all here on this web tool. So it also gives you some tips on the achievements and the bluefish and macros. So uh, it's a pretty good web tool. Uh, I think it's new this time around. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's here. And of course, there's the ocean fishing spreadsheet. I think it's crowdsourced information. Um, and uh, not complete yet for the new routes, but I guess they're updating it. And uh, there's a whole bunch of online tools that you might be using. Um, I, I'm not going to go through them all. Um, I'll put some links in the video description. But yeah, the problem with these web tools is that uh, while they're good and they're very useful, you're going to have to actually go to the web page to use the web tool, right? So if you're playing like Cyberpunk or something, you might not want to alt-tab to uh, one of these web tools to see what's coming up next. And it'll be very, very convenient instead if this information is displayed on a Stream Deck button, for example. And that is exactly what my plugin will do. Uh, so my plugin uh, is not meant to replace any of these web tools. It's just meant to uh, augment them and help them out in that you don't have to go to them directly until you actually are on the fishing route. Uh, instead, you could just look at the button while playing Cyberpunk or doing something else. Uh, it's on the, on the physical stream deck. Um, you don't even need to be in the game or anything. Um, and it will tell you, like, you could just glance at it and see if you're interested in the next fishing route. So uh, before I tell you about how to install it, I have a GitHub page and everything, before I tell you anything about that, let's just go over some features of, I guess, my button. So let me just uh, delete this one in these bottom corners. And uh, let me just drag a new instance of my plugin here. I'm just going to quickly splice this part in just to clarify. Uh, so this here is the software uh, user interface for the Stream Deck to set it up. Uh, whatever is on these buttons is mirrored on the physical Stream Deck. So whatever you see here is actually on my icons on the Stream Deck right now. And then, for example, if I click this button in the actual real world keyboard. Um, so I'm not clicking it on the computer, I'm clicking in the real world. It, it will bring me to whatever that button does, which is to switch my profile to be this page where I keep all my ocean fishing stuff. And then this, this right here is my back button. Uh, and stuff like that. So just to clarify, I'm updating it in software, obviously, in the recording, but in real life, the buttons are changing to show all of this stuff. All right. So for example, this is a new instance of my plugin. Uh, there's uh, uh, some settings. I'll just go through real quick. Uh, so just like the web tool, you know how you can see uh, filter by next route or no filter in their case, it will tell, tell you what the up upcoming route is uh, or track by certain bluefish or achievement. Um, this plugin also has the same functionality. You could track by a certain pattern of bluefish. You could track by a certain bluefish directly. Let's say Hatgufa, just like on the web tool. Let's compare. So you can see in, in 11 hours, Hatgufa is going to pop up based on this web tool. Uh, and also on the Stream Deck button, it will display 11 hours. So it's the same thing. You could pick what you want to track by. You could pick whatever you want, or you just display whatever next route is. Uh, this, this, uh, the track by is what you set here. Um, also, there's the option to display either by date or by time. So same on the web tool, you can see that they have a date here, 5 p.m. on December 21st. Uh, same on the button here, you can see December 21st at 5 p.m. Or you can just display the countdown. So that's what the display time option here does. Uh, for skips, that's the same as the lines. So each line is the next, 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 next route, and next, next, next route, and so forth, you know, at the upcoming ones uh, after. So there's going to be one in 11 hours, one in 13 hours, one in one day, 
and then it's, uh, that's the same thing as a skip. So one skip will show you the, the next one here in 13 hours, and then two skips will show you the next next one in uh, one day or so forth. Uh, so we go all the way up to 10 skips. I think that's all people will probably need. And uh, uh, that's that option. The next option is display priority. So this one is, I guess, uh, only useful if you're tracking by a route. So a route here, or if you're just looking at the next route. So let me show you an example. Uh, we go by no filter. Let's look for this route in seven hours. Uh, so this northern street of, oh, sorry, not, not that route, this route here in nine hours. So this is going to be the skip of one, two, three, four, four skips forward. Uh, and let's dis display that one. So you can see this route has two things. Uh, in this route, there's one shark achievement and there's a coral manta. Since there's not that much space on the button, uh, I have it set here that you could choose what you want to display. Do you want to display the achievement or do you want to display the bluefish? Uh, so, you know, the coral manta and shark are both here. You just select what do you want to have priority. Uh, so if there's no achievement, so for example, uh, in this route, there's no actually achievement that's good for this route. It's just two bluefish. Uh, if you have achievement selected, it will just default fall back to bluefish if there's no achievement. So it's all there. Uh, and, you know, if you want to have both, usually you could just you could just put two instances of the same track by, let's say, next route. Uh, for the very next route, you could have one do achievement and one do bluefish. So the next actual route right now is only octopus. So both of these will show the same thing, but you see what I mean. Uh, uh, and then finally, there is this button URL. Uh, so by default, it will link to the spreadsheet, the ocean fishing spreadsheet. And this is basically, you know, it's a macro keyboard. You can click the buttons in, in real life. Uh, so when you click the button, it will open up this web page. So if I click this button right now, it will open up whatever is linked here. Uh, so by default, I've set it to Ocean Fishing Spreadsheet, or you can set it to be whatever you want. You can, you can set it to be this page. So for example, if I copy this link and put it here, it's a per button setting. So you can have different links per button. Uh, and then you click it now, it will open the Ocean Fishing uh, page that you set. So some useful ideas will be, you know, a paste bin, uh, where you paste it maybe like a macro or paste it some instructions for yourself on how to do that particular route or whatever information you gathered for that route, uh, you could link to that paste bin also. So that's some useful ideas. Uh, some, I think that's all the options here for now. Maybe I'll add some options in the future. Uh, whatever options I add in the future will probably be on the readme on my GitHub page. So of course this will be linked in the YouTube description. But before I get onto the GitHub page, let me just give you some ideas on how to use this. So I usually have two buttons for the next route, one showing the achievement and one showing the bluefish. And then if I'm lo really looking for stone skill, um, maybe I'll have, let's say, uh, one stone skill showing the next instance of stone skill uh, and another stone skill button showing maybe the next next instance of stone skill. So you can see sometimes uh, of that, maybe I should plan on logging in uh, for, for this particular ocean fishing route to try to get stone scale. Uh, but yeah, those are just some ideas. You could have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, usually, I, uh, this is just a demo you know, example, but uh, usually I just have like maybe four buttons and the rest are just other things. But anyways, let's get on to the GitHub page. So this is open source. All the code is here on the GitHub page. Uh, and of course, if I make any future, uh, I guess, features or updates, it's going to be all on the README here. I can't edit the video anymore, of course, but I, of course I could edit the README page. Uh, so it's all here. The README is here. So now I'm going to talk about how to install my plugin. If you have a Stream Deck, you probably know how to install stuff already. But if you don't, here's a refresher. Uh, first things first, if you already have my tool, uh, you're going to need to have to, if you want to reinstall it, if I made a bug fix or a new version, you're going to have to uninstall it first before you install the new one. Uh, so how do you do that? You go to more actions, you look for FXIV or whatever the tool name is, just click uninstall, and that will delete it from your computer. And then, uh, so for example, if I uh, delete these buttons, you can all delete all these buttons. Uh, what I do recommend if you do delete these buttons, there might be some funny business with beta if you reinstall it. So I'll show you an example right now. But anyways, how to, uh, once you have a clean, like you uninstalled it, uh, what you need to do is go to the installation part in the GitHub uh, and then click on this link and then download this file. So if it will download, uh, if for example, I downloaded one already on desktop here um, and then you just double click this file. It will install this plugin for you. So here, it, it, I already had an installation, so I just reinstalled it and all the plugins are there. Uh, but yeah, it, you'll see in more actions, it will appear up, uh, appear here in more actions and you'll see the version number right now in this video is 1.04. 
maybe in the future I'll update it to be something different if there's more features added. Uh, but yeah, and then you just drag the button onto your stream deck. So here's an example where there might be some funny business. So you can see there's some dangling data from before and there's some error, kind of. Uh, what you need to do is just you know reset your settings if you deleted it and reinstalled it or whatever. Uh, so yeah, and uh, if you redo the settings, everything should be fine. Um, there is that, and what else did I want to mention? Oh yeah, so actually, where does it in what does the installer actually do? Uh, so if you know about your app data folder, if you don't know that uh, your app data folder, Google it. It's a hidden folder in your users uh, username app data. Uh, so in the app data, roaming Elgato Stream Deck plugin, uh, and then this plugin folder name. Uh, this is where this is what this button clicking this button does. It's basically it just pastes all these files in here, uh, installs it, and then refreshes Stream Deck, and Stream Deck will read from these files. Uh, the one important file for, I guess, more advanced users to know is here is the database file, uh, which is just a JSON uh, containing all the information about the roots, about the bluefish, the time of day, you know, the bluefish is found, uh, and also the, the, the algorithmic pattern of how to predict the next route is all in here. So if, um, if they make an update to ocean fishing and add more roots or add more stuff and I'm slow on updating my plugin, you could update the JSON yourself if you have the, I guess, the data already. Uh, but just be very, very careful if you know about JSONs. Um, the formatting is very, very important. If you forget a comma somewhere, like if I delete a comma here, it will not work at all. It will not load. Uh, and then it's very easy to have an extra comma like, like this. Um, that will not be good. So make sure the formatting is perfect for JSON. Otherwise, it will it will not work. Just copy and paste. Make sure that the commas are there in the correct places, you know, uh, and uh, it should be good. Just be careful with the formatting. Uh, but yeah, this is the database file where uh, the the tool grabs all the fish data from. Uh, you can actually add more. You can actually add more fish. So for example, if you're in fish, blue fish, you, you can actually add green fish, and I think uh, it might work. And you just put in all the locations as a, a JSON, I guess, array here, uh, where the green fish can be found if you want additional stuff. It might not have the picture for your green fish. Uh, if you want pictures, and you put them in these icons, right? If, of course, make your own pictures for your green fish or whatever. Uh, but yeah. All the icons are here. Just follow the same the formatting, I guess. Put your pictures there. Um, and I don't think there's much else I need to mention. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, yeah, but yeah, if you find any issues or if there's any bugs, uh, you can let me know uh, through, I guess, the GitHub or through YouTube. Uh, there's a about section where you can find ways to contact me. If you want some features or something, yeah, contact me there. But yeah, uh, uh, I think that's it. That's it for now. Uh, hopefully this tool helps someone out, I guess. I spend a lot of time on this tool, mostly for myself, uh, but you know, I thought other people might be interested in using it too. Uh, and it has helped me at least get a bunch of my fish. I'm still looking for stone skill, for example, and while I'm playing Cyberpunk, I could easily look at my stream deck to see if I need to log in or not to try to catch this fish without having to go to the website. Well, yeah, anyways, good luck with your ocean fishing, and uh, thanks for watching this video, and see you guys later.